Hey, so this is a screen recording that will show you how to take the white background of an image and make it transparent using Photoshop. So what I've done is I've opened my image in Photoshop and I'm going to make the artboard full screen by pressing the letter F on my keyboard. So now I've got a nice big area to work with. I held down the spacebar key to get the hand and I'm going to drag it somewhere where it's comfortable to work with as well. So I'm going to move it away from all of my uh, menus and windows and I'm going to bring it over here and that allows me to work on it more comfortably. Now I'm going to take my background and double click it and that'll turn my background into a layer. See if I don't do that, if my background is locked I can't actually edit it so I can't, uh, let's see, let's see if I take my uh, filters for example, I can't do anything yet with these filters until I unlock that by double clicking it hitting OK and now I can apply filters to it. I can do all of these fun things to it. I can put a color overlay if I want but I'm not going to do that. That's not exactly what I need to do here so I'm going to hit cancel. But it is unlocked. You don't see the lock anymore and now what I'm going to do because I want to take away some of this image and keep some of this image. I'm going to create a layer mask but before I do that I'm going to show you why. See if I take my eraser and I start erasing this white and if I accidentally get some of the bear, I can't get that bear back, it's gone. The eraser just completely erases those pixels. And you can see on here, it's a tiny image here, that's gone. So I'm going to go back through my history menu and go back to the top and that will bring those pixel pixels back. If you don't have your history palette open, go to window and make sure the check mark is behind, beside history here. So if it's not there, it'll disappear. So you want to open that up and make sure you have your history. That should always be open. That's a very useful window to have. So here you got your layer open and I'm going to make sure it's selected and I'm going to hit this rectangle with the, uh, the circle in it. And what that does is it creates a layer mask and a layer mask, all it is is where the layer mask is white, that's where you see the image and where the layer mask is black. So let's take the paintbrush and it's black. If I paint black here, I'm just going to make this brush a little bigger. I right click to get the brush menu to open up so I can slide this open or a little larger and now I've got a bigger brush. If I slide it even farther, really big brush. If I slide it at the very end, it's a huge brush. You can barely see it on the screen. There it is. So let's go to about there. There's my brush and the hardness this is a very hard brush, this is a soft brush. So if I go all the way to the left, I'm going to get something like this. And I'm going to right click, and if I go all the way to the right, it's very hard. The edges I'm talking about. So I would normally, if I was erasing things, I would undo these steps, and that's how I would get this back. But with the uh, layer mask here, you can see there are two black lines and those are actually black pixels that are going on the screen. You can see black is selected and I have a paintbrush so I'm actually painting black and that's what you're not seeing. If I reverse this by hitting this toggle arrow tool, so I switch that over, this is now white, I can paint the pixels back in which is really useful for this type of editing. So now I'm, I'm just painting the pixels back onto the screen, bring his eyes back, and there you go. That's way better than using the eraser. So how you could do this is you could go switch this back to black. Let's get a somewhat softer brush and you could trace him out this way and uh, try to get the pixels like that. But you can see this is sort of a, a tricky task and takes a little bit of skill to do it this way make a bigger brush. Let's get the rest of this white away from here. So now we're creating transparent pixels and taking the image away. So now I've got to bring him back in so I'm going to switch this to white again by hitting the switch, uh, switch color key and now I'm painting in white so I'm painting him back and I'm going to make this down a bit problem is you can't see where the edges are so you often go too far to the edges. So that's you know it's an imprecise way of doing it and it's going to take a little longer than the method I'm about to show you. So 
let's try the other method. So I'm going to go to the very top here and click on this, and that brings it very right back to the start. Problem is this is now locked, so I'm going to double-click that, open it up, make sure that's not locked, and I'm going to put my layer mask back on it. So the layer ma mask is there. You can see that if I select this and I try to paint black over it, that's just black paint. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo those steps, and I'm going to make sure that this is selected. You can see these little square corner brackets around it. That means that we're using the layer mask to edit. And now if I have black, I'm taking the pixels away. So I want to make sure that's selected. Now let's switch this back to white, paint it back in. So let's t uh, select the image, and what we're going to do is try to just get the white pixels. So I'm going to take my uh, brush selection tool, and I'm going to click and drag in the white areas and that allows the computer to recognize that this guy is trying to select just white and I'm basically painting in a selection. A selection is just the area that is uh, surrounded by these marching ants, this dotted line. And if I hit delete, it'll delete these pixels but I'd rather fill them with black because that just hides them temporarily. Uh, so what I do is I go to layer or image. Where's the fill? I usually use heart, uh, shortcuts for this, so I actually haven't been up in these menus for a long time. Um, fill, 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 fill. Okay. And now it's going to give me an option for what to fill it with, and I'm going to say black. I'm going to say OK. And now, because it's in the um, layer mask, this is actually just hiding these pixels. So that's a pretty good transparent background. I'm pretty happy with that. This image is pretty well done. Um, I'm going to deselect by going up to Select, Deselect, or Command D. And now I've got my image that is completely uh, uh, superimposed over a transparent background. And now to check that, I'm going to create a new layer, drag that behind my existing layer, and I'm going to fill this layer with black just to see if there are any white pixels left. And again, I'm going to go to, uh, let's go select all, so that gets the whole layer selected, image, um, sorry, edit, fill, use black, OK. And now we can see there are little edges here where there is still some white showing. And let's go back up to this layer and see this is now selected, the actual image. We want to go make sure that's selected. So you click on the layer mask, you get your brush tool, which isn't this one, it's down here. So that's the brush tool. Click the brush tool, we've got black, which is going to hide the pixels. Right click, bring this down a bit, and let's zoom in. So, oops, whoa, what's happening? Okay, let's zoom in. So I'm going to go view, zoom in, or Apple Plus, or sorry for you, it's Command Plus. And that zooms in. Hold down the space bar, bring the picture up to where you can edit it. Now let's click and drag out that white. And now we can just trim out the areas that look a little weird where there's some white showing up. Right around there. There's some in there. I'm going to actually make the brush a little softer because his fur is really soft and fuzzy. And that'll make it look a little more natural. And anywhere that I get too much of it, I can just take my right click, or sorry, um, I can switch that. I can start painting this back in. And then that's too much again, so I'm going to switch. And actually, this is a little too soft, so let's bring the hardness up. And I'm going to zoom in even more. Oops. You can use a magnifying glass to do this as well. So uh, that's right here. Zoom, click a couple times, space bar to drag it into a more comfortable working area. Grab the brush. I'm in black. I'm going to make this a little smaller. I right clicked there to get this window. I'm going to go size down. So now it's a nice small brush. It's a lot easier to edit when you're zoomed in. Hardness, I'm going to bring that down just a bit. Now I've got the right brush tip for this job. 
just get rid of this white glow that's happening on his fur. See, it won't be a problem if you're putting him on a white background, of course, but if you're putting him on like a dark background or like a red, it'll look weird to have these uh, weird white halos surrounding his body. Oops, zoom out again. Uh, and then down here, same kind of thing. You grab your magnifier, you click and drag, and that zooms it in. Space bar lets you bring it more to the center. Hit the B key this time, that brings you back to the brush just to check we're on black. Now we're just going to click out. Uh, this is a harder edge, he's wearing some pants, so let's bring the hardness up. Anywhere there's like skin or yeah direct skin on the edge or leather or material or clothes usually that's a pretty hard edge so you can afford to use a hard edge brush but where he's more furry and fuzzy you're gonna want to use a softer brush and again use you right click to get these choices size and hardness and then you click away every time you want to uh, come back to editing your work and I'm just getting rid of these white areas here. And that's the idea. Sp space bar gives you the hand, or you can go all the way over here, click the hand, and that allows you to drag. But it's better to use the space bar because then you don't have to come back to this, uh, this menu every time you want to make a change of what tool you're using. And this is just a nice, easy way of editing out the areas that weren't automatically um, selected when you were initially getting rid, of, getting rid of all of the white area at the same time. And here I got a bit too much of his knee. Oops, I got a, way too much of his knee. So I'm going to switch to white and I'm going to paint that back in because he needs his knee otherwise he won't be able to do any kung fu. I'm going to switch back to black to get rid of these pixels. There. Let's get that. Switch back to white because I got a little too much. And it's it can be a bit of a tedious process, but this is um, this is Photoshop. You get better at it when you practice, and like anything. The more time you spend with it, the easier it becomes, and the more you recognize what tools you need to use when. And let's get up here. There's a bit of white there. Get rid of it. And yeah, that's... Uh, if you ever want to see the whole image again, you can go to View, Actual Pixels, or Fit on Screen is good. And there you go. There's, let's see, some little extra white in here let's go down there so I'm gonna get my magnifier again click and drag and that'll zoom right in now for this you can actually even just take your uh, straight line selection tool and I just deselected because I had a selection before I want to make sure this deselect is is blank I'm gonna click and just get rid of some of this white that and I'm gonna fill that with black so I'm gonna go edit fill black okay and then command D deselects gets rid of that awkward black area and now if I get rid of this layer by hitting the delete delete layer one okay got a nice transparent panda or sorry a transparent background with my panda so then I go to image or sorry Photoshop uh, save as, and if I save this as a Photoshop file, you can't really use it for um, brochures or invitations. You want to save this as a uh, PNG, and that'll keep your transparent background. So I'm going to save that as a PNG on my desktop so I can find it later. Save. Uh, PNG options, interlaced, none, or interlaced. You're going to stay none, okay. And that takes a moment to save, and there it is. You'll have your, uh, let's see, your panda PNG. And that has a transparent background.